We are on the verge of this. This yes. is happening. It, it could Faster happen. Faster than ever, yeah. Yeah, it could happen mm-hmm. 20, 25, 30, 35. It's here now. Yeah. Explain what transhumanism is and why it is so dangerous. Yeah, so I'll just uh, probably start with the history of it. Um, So there was a man named Julian Huxley. He's the brother of the famous author Aldous Huxley. He was president of the British Eugenics Society. The (laughs) United Nations is created um, after World War II. He is put in charge of UNESCO. In writing his vision for UNESCO, Julian Huxley says about eugenics, we need to make the unthinkable thinkable again. Ten years later, he coins the term transhumanism in a book Did called- Did he read his brother's work? Um, I'm sure, actually, that Aldous Huxley's work was influenced by the type of social milieu he inhabited, which okay. would include his, his, his brother, brother. Okay. and, uh, you know, sort of that- those intellectual circles yeah, yeah. Uh, where both of them grew up, right? right? Okay. You know, this is the British aristocracy mm-hmm. and really a lot of the idea of eugenics going back to Francis Galton and, you know, Darwinism yep. and all of that, it te- seems to sort of emanate from from there. Fabian socialists and yes. all of that. Yes, yes. Um, so in, in a book in 1957, I believe, called uh, New Bottles for New Wine, something like that, uh, Julian Huxley coins the terms transhumanism and talks about how the new eugenics is going to be merging uh, man with machine. So this is basically eugenics rebranded. And a lot of people that funded eugenics causes of the past, like the Rockefeller family, are mm-hmm. you know, big proponents of transhumanism today, and it's it's getting uh, increasingly problematic. Um, I would say, you know, if you look, for example, at the new head of the FDA, who very few people have bothered to look into, um, Robert Califf, he's a former Google Health executive. Uh, Google Health has a joint venture, venture with GlaxoSmithKline hmm. uh, called Galvani Bioelectronics. I think the former head of that was Monsef Salawi, who was in charge of Operation Warp Speed, and their focus is what they call bioelectronics medicine, which is, uh, you know, injectable nanotechnology that can manipulate your central nervous system. What are the implications of that? We have the person that uh, just purchased Twitter making a brain chip company. Mm -hmm. He's also a major contractor to the U.S. military. He has a major conflict of interest uh, with uh, Chinese uh, Silicon Valley equivalents like Tencent. Um, And, you know, he says, I love this. He says, That's one of the reasons why I want to get off the planet. He says his work is to find a way to, A, compete against the transhumanistic, you know, folly. Um, uh, You don't believe that at all. I don't. I don't buy it. No. Uh, If you look at that company, they had animal trials. Many of the of the monkeys it was tested and died after the brain chip was yeah. put in. If that were my company, I would reformulate everything or shut it yeah. down if it was going to kill that many animals, but it's already moved into human trials. <laughs> I mean, it's Even though it's killing all the monkeys. Well, it killed many monkeys. Yeah, yeah. I forget the exact number, but a significant portion. It's See, I, uh, this is where it gets frightening. Well, it's tied up with depopulation, right? You have this being sort of the new uh, path of eugenics. And so, you know, I don't think these people ultimately care about, you know, how many uh, people are left, right? Smart and right. Well, eugenics is you. (laughs) I mean, well, people like to act like eugenics disappeared and it hasn't. It's Mm -mm. just rebranded. And if you look at the history, it's, it's very clear and it's very disconcerting. That's why everything you're seeing that is coming out of policy all over the world. Every, all of the all of the world economic forms well, seem so look Malthusian. At Canada, the the medically assisted death originally was right. going to be for terminally ill people. Now people are pitching it to homeless people in Canada, saying you're too poor to live. Do you want to kill yourself? Um, How do we not remember what happened last time? Well, I think some of these people, you look at the Rockefellers, they funded oh, what happened last time. Yeah. A lot of that uh, money that was used to set up the Nazi eugenics program came from the Rockefeller Foundation, and that's a matter of record. They've tried to go back and say, oh, we're sorry, but they're yeah. funding a lot of this stuff now.